Moving on to part B. Part B is show that her estimated time in minutes of the run uh, to run the arth kilometer for in between 5 to 20 is this expression here. Um, so it's a bit difficult to explain this, but um, um, it's going to be 1.05 is the decimal... Um, is the decimal multiplier for five percent increase uh, it's a geometric progression but the decline but the increase only starts at the fifth kilometer. Um, so on the fifth mile, fifth kilometer, it's going to be six times 1.05 to the power of one. Sixth kilometer is going to be six times 1.05 to the power of two. Um, so therefore, the arth kilometer is going to be equal to 6 times 1.05 to the power of r minus 4. Yeah, so it's more of an explanation you have to provide for that one there than showing it because yeah, it's difficult to know what else to do really on that one. So moving on to part C, estimate the total time in minutes and seconds she would take to complete the race. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be doing those 24 um, is, is actually if we add the 24 on at the end and then we can say that this is a geometric progression geometric series where a is equal to um, 6 yeah if, we, yeah if we do 6 and then we'll just add 18 on the end and then it's going to be the fourth kilometer, the fifth kilometer, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth. So how many numbers have I written there? So I'm working out the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So my um, my n number here is going to be 17, and I'll add those 18 uh, kilometers, 18 minutes on at the end, and then r is going to be 1.05. So the summation is going to be 6 brackets, 1.05, and then it's to the power of um, n plus 1, isn't it? So it'd be uh, to the power of 18 minus 1 over 1.05 minus 1, and let's grab a calculator there, oh no, it's to the power of 17, it's just the power of, uh, it's just the power of 17 on that power there, um, so it's going to be 155.04219811, but then we'll add those 18 minutes on it for the first three kilometres, So the total answer equals, uh, so when we add the 18, it would be 173.04219811, and then translate this into minutes and seconds. Um, so that will be 173 minutes and 3 seconds. Lovely. So what you can do is you can press that uh, button with lots of commas on it, or you can just scrap the 173 and then do this part of the fraction here, this part of the decimal here, and divide that by, um, and times it by 60, and that will give you your three seconds. So there we are. That's the answer for this question here. Then. So it's a geometric series question, but where you're effectively starting at the fourth term of the geometric series, geometric sequence, uh, so you have to add the previous three onwards. So the the number of um, minutes taken for kilometre one, two and three.
Right, lovely. There we are. So that's seven marks for question 11 there. Let's now move on to question 12.